everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a new updated winged liner video. How I get a perfect wing most of the time. None of us are perfect no matter what you do. <laughs> you're going to fail sometimes. They're not going to always match up and that's just because we're human. It's no big deal. You can be the most skilled person with eyeliner and it can still be tricky. So um, over the years, this is a way that I used to do mine back in college when I wore super, super thick eyeliner. That was like a look that I was very much into. Like I said, over the years on this channel, I cannot even tell you how many like perfect winged liner looks I've done over the past almost six years and they're all a little bit different and that's so fun with makeup. You always just sort of, you evolve and you try different things with new products, you get different techniques and you sort of stick with different things and find new techniques with time. And it's funny when you sort of go back to doing it a certain way and it was actually by accident I was using my new um, NARS Via Veneto pencil. I'm going to do a tutorial in a moment. I was using my NARS Via Veneto pencil and I was just going to use it as liner. And you know with these I grab all the time because you have to sharpen it with this stupid little sharpener as mechanical ones do and I don't really like that. But anyways, unless if you sharpen it every time you're never going to get super close to your lashes. So I had that tiny little gap. And for like the sake of my lashes, I do not like to tight line like when I see people just going, mm. that's just like eyelash loss waiting to happen. So I cringe every time I see that. But So what I did is I went back with my Tarte Multiply liquid liner really close to the base and I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I used to do in college. I just thought it was so funny. So not only does it give you this perfect, really precise, but still, you know, the liner underneath that gives it this softened out look, it makes it super, super black and intense and it will last all day long and it's cra it's so crazy. So for this technique is a pencil, a black pencil. Um, I use this NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Via Veneto. So use whatever black pencil works for you. And I like it because it's a little creamy. It has some give, but it dries like it will stay put. And then you need a liquid liner. I'm using the Tarte Multiply Lash Enhancing Liquid Liner. And what I love about this one is that it, is, it looks like one of those pins, um, kind of like the MAC Pin Ultimate, which is a felt tip. And it can be, honestly, those can be very precise and easy because, you know, you hold it like a pin and it takes a little bit of that learning curve away from it and, you know, having to get used to it because you hold it like a pin. Um, but those can be very difficult because it has no forgiveness. Like, if the tip is very felt-like and sharp, every little shake of your hand is going to show. This one is perfect because it's actually a small little brush. And it looks like, I thought it was a felt tip for the longest time and thought, wow, it's really soft, but it's not. It's tiny little brush bristles into a point. Um, mine is almost out and I had some difficulty with that during the tutorial, but... This is a good one. Another one that I would recommend that is very, very user-friendly is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. This is a felt tip, but it is a very soft, spongy felt tip. It's not like a felt tip marker or like, you know, a hard tip. Um, so this one has give to, but I feel like the multiply gets closer to the lashes. So, so you need those two things, a pencil, a liquid, and um, a little small angle brush. This is a Sigma E65. And that's it. You can get this really softened look. And a lot of times you always see me using like a black um, eyeshadow to soften the line. You don't have to do that with this. And it's just, it's really awesome. I did use a black eyeshadow for this area under here. So not a must, but if you do want to add a little bit to, the, to your lower lash line, then pick up a black. And this is the Licorice by Jane. Okay, so let's get right into it. All right, so first to prep my lid, I'm not going to show you because it's not that big of a deal. I just use this um, Sigma Beauty eyeshadow base in Persuade and my NARS All About Eve eyeshadow duo. Very, very simple colors. I'm going to start with my black pencil and this is the shade Via Veneto. It's the larger than life pencil by NARS and I'm not being super careful you're just gonna make a somewhat thick line along your upper lash line you're not gonna worry about the wing with this but you can just sort of go out just a little bit you see it's not even not even bad but you want to keep it upward you don't want to start getting carried away and pull it down too far So just a simple line on this upper lash line. Now what you want to avoid 
is scarily tight lining your eyes with a pencil like this. That will tear up your lashes and over time it's just not good for them. We're definitely not using the pencil to get that gap. You see how there's a slight, you know, little gap. Normally it looks a little bigger. Maybe it was because my pencil was already a little warmed up, um, but I'm but you know, you can have that little gap left behind. Next, you're gonna take your angled eyeshadow brush. This is an E65 by Sigma. And you're just going to not do anything too precise. You're just gonna sort of smudge that line. You put down a whole lot of eyeliner, so you're just gonna kinda take it and smudge it and make it look really soft. You're gonna do that all the way in. This is just going to keep the line from looking so harsh. This will also make the liner stay put like crazy. Like it will look the same, you know, from morning till night. Now I'll go in with your liquid liner and I'm using the Tarte Multiply. It has a really thin brush and you can see already the point of this is just to get really close to your lashes and you can see how that really just already filled that in start from, usually it's start from the inside, I was just kind of showing you. You can use little strokes, you can use large strokes, but you should never get carried away with any sort of like rules where liquid liner is concerned and feel like you have to do one solid line. That's where you make a ton of mistakes and that's really not going to give you the best result. This one is almost running out so I'm having to use little small strokes. I'm actually going to make it a little thicker since the other side was a little thicker. You can see how close that got to the lashes. If you feel like you have to do the little flick, um, starting like from here and do like one fluid motion and flick it out, you're gonna fail. And that's like literally, if I did that, I would fail like nine times out of 10. So I turn it around and I get really close to that outer corner and I make sure not to extend it out past the little invisible line where my lashes sort of create, um, you know, you just kind of pretend like it continues and that's the angle that you're um, wings gonna be. So when you get to this outer corner you just sort of make the little first part, sort of make the first fat part. Then when you get the angle going, turn it back the other way and in short little strokes wing it out. Super simple. And then always go back, turn it around and smooth it out. Then you can sort of make the wing even thinner. It's just super, super easy. And you see that kind of just continued the little um, angle. This is a very big wing. You can do it very, you can do it a lot more subtle, a lot smaller. Um, just make it a little thinner. Everyone's eyes shape different, so not everyone's is going to look the same. Like, like I said, the most flattering on everyone is going to be to continue that line. And um, like I've always said, that's just always a great tip. But I don't like it to be like, you know, like I don't like it to look like a check or anything like that. I just think this is the most flattering. And now you still have that really precise wing, but you don't have to go back with any eyeshadow and like risk taking any of the intensity away because you've already got that little softness that was created by your first color. And that also worked as a guide and sort of, um, I feel like when that goes down, it keeps you from feeling like you have to overlap your liner so much and then make mistakes, which is easier to do with the liquid. All right, so I added some mascara, and then always I like to take a little bit of a black um, eyeshadow. This is Licorice by Jane. It's the one I've really been loving lately. And just touch that right to this lower part. Don't You don't wanna go in too far because I don't really wanna make that the focus. But I think it just sort of like helps frame this outer corner. It just makes everything look more finished. Well, that is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and found this video helpful. Forgot to mention, if you were wondering, the um, mascara that I used was the CoverGirl Lash Blast um, Lash, ba Lash Blast Volume. So I hope that you all enjoyed it. Definitely don't be intimidated by winged looks or liquid eyeliner. Like anything, it takes practice. It's not going to be perfect 100% of the time with anybody. But you can get pretty darn close to that if you practice and try out some of my tips because I just think after all these years of, of doing my makeup this way, this is just the easiest way and um, leaves kind of less room for error. So hope you all enjoyed it. I hope to see you at iMatch this weekend and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!